Let us read both orders as well as the order items data set from files into pandas data frame. For that, we will be creating a function. Using that function, we will be passing the path of the file and also the schema and it will return the data frame for both orders as well as order items. Let's get into the details so that you are familiar with the process. When it comes to our data, both the files does not have header and hence we need to pass the schema while creating data frames. Let's preview the data. In this case, I am using ls-ltr Linux command on this path where we have the orders data. You can see that the path is valid. You can also invoke head on top of this file to see first few records. You can use sh magic command like this as part of the Jupyter to run Linux based commands and see the output. If you are running your Jupyter on top of Windows, this might not work. But if you are running on top of Ubuntu or Mac, this will work without any issue. You can actually see the output here. There is no header. It directly starts with data. Data contains four fields and they are separated using comma. Even odd items have similar uh, structure. It has six fields rather than four fields. Now we can import pandas as pd like this and then we can define a function by name get underscore df. It takes path and schema as two arguments. We can pass the path. We can specify header equal to none because we don't have header. Otherwise it will take the first record as the header and give the names as the column names. And we'll be passing the schema uh, which is nothing but list of strings and we are assigning it to names keyword argument using which the column names will be inferred for our data frame and finally we are returning the data frame using this return statement as part of this get underscore df function. If you are not familiar with these terms you might have to go back to our pandas module and go through the details and come back so that this will start making sense for you. As of now assuming that you have some level of uh, pandas knowledge I am creating this function we will be using this function to create both orders data frame as well as order items data frame. The way you can create an orders data frame is you have to create a variable uh, which contains the path which is nothing but this one and the variable name is orders underscore path. Orders underscore schema is nothing but a list which contain all the column names. We have order ID, date, customer ID and status for orders and we should be able to pass all the attributes as a list like this. Order schema is of type list of strings and we are passing that list of strings as second argument that will be passed as a second argument to get underscore df here and using this list of strings it will be applying the schema on top of our data and it will create a data frame. Now let's run this. It will return a data frame and we are assigning it to a variable called as orders. We can uncomment and we should be able to run this. You can see the type as data frame. We should be able to preview the first three results here. Let me comment these things. The reason why I am commenting these is we'll be using this notebook as part of the downstream topics and I don't want to get the output on the screen. That's why I'm commenting these things immediately. However, to validate I have uncommented and I have ran this and you can see the output for the orders. When it comes to loading data into database using cursor.execute many, we need to pass data as list of tuples or list of lists, not as pandas data frame. To ensure that data is passed as list of lists or list of tuples, on top of data frame there is a attribute called as values. On top of that values, we can invoke a function called as toList which will convert our uh, data frame records into list of lists. You can actually validate by uncommenting this and then running this. You can see that each element in this uh, orders.values.toList is nothing but list. So we have converted the data frame into list of lists using the, the data frame which is nothing but orders.values.toList. You can check the type by saying type of orders.values.toList. Uh, let me clear the output here. And then let me copy this. Ideally we should be saying column three like this so that we can only see three records. Now I can copy this and then say type of orders.values.toList. You can see it is of type list. We can also check the type of one of the records by saying of two like this, which is nothing but third record and even the elements are of type lists only. So this is how you should be able to convert a data frame to list of lists so that we can actually use while invoking cursor.execute many at a later point in time. For now let me comment these things out as we have successfully validated how the data will look like when we invoke values.toList on top of our pandas data frame. We can use the similar approach to actually create data frame for our order items using getDF function. We just have to define a path variable, order items path of type string and we have to specify the path. This is the location where we have order items data set. Order items have six fields. These are the six fields and I am passing the path and the schema here and I am creating the data frame. Now you should be able to uncomment this and you should be able to run this and you can see the records in the data frame. We are displaying only three records. 
This is how you can actually create data frames off of the data in the files. Once the data frame is created, if you want to process further, you can process. And finally, you have to convert to list. And using that list, you should be able to invoke execute many to insert many records at once into the database table.